Good afternoon everybody. I'm actually so excited because if you don't follow me on social media, I've been quite ill for the last nearly two weeks now which is crazy and I'm starting to feel better. I've missed my last Sunday upload, my last Friday upload and I'm sad about it so I'm hitting you with a Monday upload. <laughs> Today I'm doing another what I eat in a day as you can tell by the title. This one is a little bit different because Gabby has once again started another diet. <laughs> This is something that I've been putting off for a long time. Ever since I did Slimming World, I found Slimming World very, very triggering. I have joined WW, which is Weight Watchers. I know so many people are gonna be in my comments like, all you do is diet, blah, blah, blah. I got weighed right at my first group. I am four stone, four and a half stone overweight for my like height and it's not a good time. I also had all my like body fat and stuff measured with my personal trainer and my viscous fat which is the fat around your organs is higher than it should be so that has like kicked me into action and it's just made me realize how much crap I eat and how like I'm just not doing my body any favors and to be honest obviously I would love to lose weight and fit in all of my old clothes and stuff but I know that I need to do this now because a lot of illnesses related to weight run in my family and I don't want them and I don't know it's just hit hard recently so I went to a I always want to call it weight watchers but it's not actually called that anymore it's called ww wellness that works i think i went to one of their meetings on saturday so a couple of days ago and i got weighed and i learned about everything and honestly this plan suits me so much more if you're just here for the what i eat in a day i'll put a little timestamp where you can skip to it but if you do want to learn a little bit more about what ww uh, is I will let you know right now to be honest I haven't done all the research in the world so I might be getting some stuff wrong but from what I gather from reading my booklets you get a certain number of points every single day and that number is different for everybody it depends on what your weight is so I personally have got 24 points a day I know some people have like 30 points some people have 19 it honestly really depends on you which first of all I really like because it means that it's tailored to you so along with those 24 points that I get a day I also get 42 weekly points now this is the real game changer for me because with Slimming World I had so much guilt if I went over my sins I felt guilty about it and then I would just end up binging because I was like right I've gone over anyway what's the point which was such a bad mentality to have but with this plan what differs is you get weekly points so if you go out for a meal if you just want a bit of extra food that day if you're feeling hungry I have those extra 42 points a week that I can use up if I do have a day where I want to eat more if I have a few days where I want to eat more I think WW have managed to take away the guilt that I felt with Slimming World. Now I'm not bashing Slimming World because it does work for a lot of people but for me personally I just found it really triggering but all of that seems to have been taken away with this plan. I've now done three days on it and I honestly feel full I don't feel guilty, I'm having everything that I want to eat and I know that I've got the extra points there. If I want to go for a Wagamama's or a pizza or something, I can have it, which is amazing. Look at little Nelson, I've just noticed he's there. <laughs> the next thing that I love about WW, this seems sponsored, it's really not. I know Louise Pentland is working with them, but Honestly, if they would like to reach out to me, <laughs> hello, I am Gabby and I like your plan and I would like to work with you, but anyways. So one thing that I love about the plan is that they also focus on activity. They encourage like walking, swimming, yoga, literally anything that you wanna do. All I've been doing at the minute is walking. I've been also doing 10,000 steps every day and those translate into fit points. So you have like a certain target of fit points. I think mine is 48. And that's just like another little fitness goal for you to get because obviously with losing weight you want to keep fit I've had all the weight loss surgery operations I've been through it all and it's not a fun time obviously some people can't avoid that like I couldn't avoid that I lost 10 stone in like a year and a half so I had saggy skin but since I've put a good four stone back on I do not want to go through those operations again at all, they were hell. So by encouraging exercise and literally just walking, by translating those into points, you see your little target go up and you feel really good about yourself. I like that a lot. The app is also fantastic. I signed up for Digital and Studio, so I do go to a weekly group, but I also have the app. The app is amazing. If you like my fitness palette, it's like a mix between that and the Slimming World app. 
I thought the Slimming World app was crap. They definitely need to work on that. But with the WW1, I've already typed in all the meals that I'm having, if you can see this. But basically, you get your points in the middle, then you get your weekly points at the side, and it shows you how many points you've used. You can type in literally any food. So if I type in quavers, it'll show you how many points it is. You can decide whether you then want to eat them. It makes it so easy to add your food and track your food, which with Slimming World, that is like impossible. You have to write everything down, and I'm just not that kind of person. But also at the bottom, they've got restaurants. So if you are out and you do want a meal out of the house, say I wanted Wagga Mama, I could type in Wagga mama and see what other point values of everything is and then I could then choose my meal based on that like I could use all of my weekly points on a katsu curry if I wanted one and I just really love that it feels like this is the plan that was kind of made for me as I've said I've done it for three days now and that is enough time for me to gauge whether I like something or not so I'm going to stop blabbering on I just thought I would give you a little bit of an insight as to what it is because I will be doing WW what I eat in a day videos from now on so so I can always send people back to this one if they don't know what the rules are. But I'm gonna get going because I'm hungry. It's lunchtime and I want food. So let's go and see what I eat in a day. I've just dried my hair and I need to style it, but before I do that, I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna get some porridge, I think. Let's go make it, I'm honestly so hungry right now. was so bad in my kitchen so sorry if that whole clip was a shit show but here is my porridge mm -mm -mm. wonderful <laughs> Once the chicken was ready, I got one of these Warburton's Thins, which are three points. And I just added some iceberg lettuce and some onion and then the chicken. I made sure to just add like one chicken breast amount. And this whole sandwich is just seven points. Look how freaking incredible this sandwich looks. I'm honestly so beyond excited to eat this. It looks freaking amazing. Okay, taste test. You're balanced on a cushion right now. So I feel like you're gonna fall. Mmm. So good. This is incredible. 10 out of 10. Recommend everybody to try this. It's so good. So onto the stew, the first thing that I did was chop two big white onions. I really enjoy peeling onions. I feel like that's kind of a weird thing to enjoy, but it's so satisfying. Anyways, I just chopped those up into little pieces and then I moved on to three Maris Piper potatoes. I think Maris Piper work the best in stews and stuff. They seem to keep like their form better and not fall apart. So I just peeled and chopped some of those into cubes. I think I used four, like, kind of smaller ones. 
on to carrots, you can either use a couple of big carrots or I just used a cup full of smaller carrots and chop those. And finally for veg, I decided to add some green beans, which are a new love of mine, which is kind of random. I've never liked them in my whole life, but now I'm kind of obsessed. Onto the meat, I got two pounds worth of beef and just coated it in flour and then popped it in the crock pot the slow cooker along with the onions and carrots and potatoes now my slow cooker is absolutely tiny and i ended up buying a bigger one and like transferring it into that i cooked this stew on low for i'd say about eight hours then i left it in the pot when it was turned off overnight and i cooked it for a few more hours today it gets a lot thicker and the beef really really falls apart and that's when you know that it's ready so let's get a nice big bowl of this Here we go, I've got my nice big bowl of stew now. This is only five points and it is gonna fill me up for so long. Also, I put this in anything that has gravy, Henderson's Relish from Yorkshire. So many people haven't heard about this, but honestly, it makes it taste 10 billion majillion times nicer. So I'm just gonna go and enjoy this now. I was gonna have yogurt and fruit for pudding, but then I remembered I've got these. So these are actually four points. So I'm gonna get myself one of those and a cup of tea and call it a night. So that is the end of my what I eat in a day following the WW plan. Let me know if you would like more videos like this. I feel like I'm gonna do them anyway because I really enjoy making what I eat in a day videos. They're actually my favorite ones to make because I love food. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me and I will see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye.